Hey everyone and welcome and today we're going to be talking about the Pierce X6. So over here we have an amazing slide once again done by the analysis team but let's dive a little bit more into detail. So over here we have what we currently know as one of the player skins and honestly it just looks fantastic i love the um the color variation that it has between the gray the black and the red as well as with the lighting uh coming off with like a blue and red as well which i think is just overall honestly so cool to look at and think of so if we go from this we can also see here's another uh like concept skin as well that's coming or a uh, skin that's also coming about which in this photo looks uh, white on top but this may also be the gray just having a different effect on everything that's going around it but as we can see right now it looks more of a white as well as we're seeing an action shot over here so to take note of is these weapon hardpoints that are actually shooting lasers right now so we will come to the blueprint just now so that's something to take note of um, over there so if we come over here we can actually see some of the um, like basically NPCs or um, Council of Peace NPCs around each of these Pierce X6s in, in, in what we see as a city. Now this city may be on a space station, maybe on a planet, but we see that this is a um, this is like basically them setting up to go and do something, maybe a patrol or or they're ready to just basically act on anything that is causing mischief inside of the city or around it. So now if we go from here and we go to seeing what the details are, we know it's a fighter, we know it's the Pierce uh, line it's an x6 model it's a small class and its rarity is rare uh, in my personal opinion i think pierce is probably one of the most uh like good looking classes or of ship that is out there by far uh well, that's just my opinion now uh, we have the size the length the width the height uh we have the crew which you need a pilot and co-pilot so you will be needing crew for this one 100 you will need an additional crew member so the modules we have for this is an XX small brig, a small ammunition, and then an XX small mess hall. Now we'll come to uh, the brig and the mess hall just now, um, and then dive a little bit further into that and while well, well, with some speculation. So over here we can see some of the components being uh, power supply, warp drive, radar, shield generator, impulse engine, thrusters, small weapon hardpoints, and then X small, uh, well, um, then um, X small weapon hardpoints, one uh, small missile bay, countermeasure bay, full hull reinforcement, and then tractor beam. So now, as we saw before, um, with the player skin, we have now a COP skin, which COP stands for the Council of Peace. And this is the skin that will only be available towards the NPCs. This will not be available to, towards players as we currently know it. Maybe at a later stage, they may release it where it could be a job affiliation that you could do, which would be cool. And then you would get the skin basically with that job affiliation. So over here, we can see the blueprint of the Pierce X6. We can see the um, the uh, multi uh, laser rays. So there's on both sides. And that's something to take note of, which I told you earlier on with the action shot. Then over here, we see an antimatter cannon. So now remember there's four small um, uh, weapon hardpoints and then there's uh, sm uh, four X small weapon hardpoints. So I'll break that down a little bit further and then we can count a little bit to see how many there exactly are. So over here we can see a little bit of the side uh, section, a second um, a, a two seat cockpit module and then uh, some of like the rear section of it as well something to take note of as well is over here on the back is a multi-purpose grenade. Now, what is the multi-purpose grenade going to be used for is most likely, I would say, is a countermeasure towards, say, like missiles or, um, or like rockets or anything of that sort that's basically flown at them that these grenades would like basically fly out and be a form of heat uh, source in order to uh, divert the missile um, basically direction that's coming at them. So if we go from here and we go to this shot over here, now over here we can see a little bit more of all of like the basically the weapon hardpoints. So now there's two what seems to be weapon hardpoints down here. Then we have four of these, uh, uh, what's it, um, laser arrays uh, uh, two aside, and then we have two 
anti-cannon um, on each side, basically anti-matter cannon, sorry, on each side. So over here, I would say these, these ones count as maybe your X small weapon hard points. And then your antimatter cannons on the side would be your small. And then these two down here, which we have no description for right now, are probably your other two small uh, weapon hard points. So now something to take note of as well is uh, as we have an opening over here, we can see the cockpit. And remember, we were talking about where the brig might be or how the mess hall is going to be. So we can see the mess hall over here with uh, what seems to be a small living quarter and then obviously like cupboards for clothing and things like that. But then back here, we have no idea what's back here yet. So this may be the XX small brig where you would hold captives and um, that's where they would basically be held through the entire duration of the flight. So now if we go from here and we can see the cockpit overlay. We can see just like you you um, being the pilot and then your co-pilot obviously flying through the metaverse as well. As well as we can see over here, because this is obviously a concept art, they may have not adjusted all of these things. We can see the Pierce Council X5 a branding over here, as well as the O9, well, well the C09, which is Council O9 Pierce uh, stickers here on the side as well. So obviously it's all concept art, so it, it'll obviously adjust as time goes on. Um, but yeah, these two photos just basically represent that. Then over here, we can as well, we can see the one half of the left hand side of it as well. We can see the 09 Pierce uh, stickers again, as well as the X5 stickers over here as well. As said before, it is a concept art. So those will probably be um, adjusted as time goes on. So now something to take very like amazing note of and so on, especially with the Council of Peace lineager or basically line which is the npcs is that these soldiers uh could just be mannequins which were just filling a scene at the time but uh the artist it was a more so a personal project this uh, pr this original um art over here was a personal project that happened first and we can see over here like small little uh neat add-ons for these robots that were be basically that he created or not so much robots but suits that he had created and then he took this art across towards everything else that was coming with um, with Star Atlas. As we can see over here, we have these uh, these autonomous looking or NPCs that were happening uh, throughout all of his sections. Whether it's on this is on the C11, I believe this is on the F4s. These two are these three are on the F4s, I believe, and then some of them as well as on the C9. And this concept art has been dragged over towards over here which we can see the smaller little things that are the same over here on the side, as well as the basically spheres that is on their backs as well. But there's still so much more for us to uncover with all of these things that are coming forward. And there's still so much more that Star Atlas is going to reveal for us in the future. If this was helpful at any stage, please do like and subscribe. And as well as if you do have any questions, please do come to the Discord um, and ask away. You can add me in the Discord at any time, as well as uh, we are having what we call Star Atlas Tuesdays every Tuesday um, on Twitch. And um, you can follow the Twitter in order to keep up with that a little bit more. But otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one.